Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. A uh, very warm welcome to all of you to this uh, School Synergy uh, session. Uh, we have been doing this School Synergy workshop series uh, for the last three years. And the theme for the semester is Safe Space to Make Mistakes. And I'm uh, Ruchi Kumar, uh, Assistant Professor at Center of Excellence in Teacher Education at Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Mumbai. And I extend a very warm welcome to all of you uh, for this uh, School Synergy sessions. Um, we uh, are gathered today to, uh, to experience a session uh, by um, Jasneet Kaur. Uh, Jasneet has been working uh, for a long time uh, in the area of mathematics education. She has a PhD in uh, uh, mathematics education from uh, Jamia, and uh, uh, she has even, uh, you know, uh, worked at the level of a teacher in schools, and she is also right now assisting in uh, uh, SCRT Haryana right now, uh, doing a lot of work. She is also doing work in uh, developing the state curriculum framework also. Uh, so, uh, and she has earlier taught BL ed students. I have uh, recently also met some of her students also. So uh, she's also a very warm friend. So I welcome uh, Jasmeet Kaur. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ruchi. Yeah. I just request everyone, uh, please uh, mute yourself. And uh, you are very much uh, welcome to unmute and speak during the session when the uh, host uh, or co-host asks you to. But otherwise, just mute yourself because other people will get disturbed. And the other uh, thing is that we generally um, record these sessions and release on YouTube. So whoever is present here in the session, we uh, assume that you are okay with the, the recording this session and releasing it on YouTube. If you're not okay, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, we, this is the way we have been proceeding and uh, you may leave the session if you're not okay about that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Jasneet, over to you now. We won't waste any more time. Yeah. Uh, you can try sharing your presentation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll just <laughs> take a minute to just uh, have a- Yes, yes, please do. Informal. Till the time. Yeah. yeah. Can I just have a show of hands uh, for the people who are attending School Synergy sessions for the first time? Can I please have a show of hands for the people who are attending School Synergy session for the first time? Okay, I see something like six people here. Okay, so uh, let me share with you uh, that, you know, we besides this school synergy session, online session, we also have a telegram group and uh, we have shared that uh, link of the telegram group in the email also, and we will share it at the end of the session also. You may join the telegram group and uh, how this telegram group helps us is, it uh, helps us in uh, discussing uh, about the issues that we have discussed in the um, uh, school synergy session beyond the session itself, because there are so many ideas that come up you know, after uh, you have uh, uh, you know, attended the session, thoughts strike you, you want to discuss some more things. So this, this Telegram group is essentially called School Synergy Teachers Forum, and you can uh, very well uh, join the group and have discussion beyond the session there itself. Okay, so I now uh, request uh, Jasneet to start if you can, if you're yes. okay with 
yeah. yeah so thank you so much ruchi uh, just for giving me an opportunity to me meet uh, all kind of educators teachers who uh, and to discuss uh, about the mistakes and con uh, conceptions of students and uh, I, I just want to tell you this is one of my favorite areas so when Ruchi asked me to uh, take a session on this I didn't give a second thought uh, without uh, giving a second thought I accept that uh, so uh, I just want to mention that uh, uh, here in this session we in a group we will try to explore the power of uh, mistakes it's not like that i am telling you something and uh, you are just accepting it so together we will try to form an understanding that how mistakes actually uh, has that kind of power which uh, as a teacher or as an educator we usually even as a student we don't even realize so uh, but first of all i would like to take a poll i am uh, sharing a link uh, on the chat so this poll is basically about uh, to uh, know what are the students, uh, what, are, what do society uh, take view mistakes as? I mean, the kind of views the people hold for mistakes. So according to you, what are those? Uh, so uh, in the poll, you will see there are four statements, uh, which may be the common uh, beliefs or the common uh, uh, thinking of the people about the mistakes. So I just want you to rank that in that uh, in the link that I've uh, I've shared in the chat. I hope everyone has got the link. Yeah, let us wait a minute, uh, Jasni, for people to get onto the link. Once you have got to the link, uh, please uh, post the thumbs up uh, emoji reaction from your. Uh, zoom uh, site, uh, there is a bar below uh, the zoom window there is a reactions option you can just post a thumbs up so that we know that you have reached there it's in the chat only in the chat i'm sharing and i think again uh, you need to share it again it's the yeah, yeah. uh, www.menti.com it's on the chat so you yeah. go on uh, your zoom bar uh, click on more and then click on chat and you'll be able to see the link then you click on the link itself. It's in the Zoom chat. Yeah. Disha, it's uh, it's all on the, there's a link we can see on the chat itself where you can see your own response, no link. Just below that, the link is there. You have to go to the chat. I'll share it again. Oh, it's they are yeah. saying the link is not shared to everyone. Yeah. Is it now? It's, I am able to do it actually. Uh, let me see. Um, we have got it now. Mm -hmm. Yes, we got madam. Thank you, thank you. So I can see all, uh, three people have responded till now. I have responded. So you, yeah. So yeah. you have to basically uh, rank it according to what people view. How people uh, think about mistakes. Ke bare mein. It's not like what should happen. It's more of how what is persistent? Haan, log kaise dekhte hai, ko. Teachers kaise dekhte hai, parents hmm. kaise dekhte hai. How are mistakes generally perceived? Hmm. So how are they perceived? Are they perceived as mistakes that they help in better learning? Uh, yeah, if teacher will not point out the mistake, it will remain persistent. Uh, hmm. Making mistakes indicate that the child is not good in particular subject. Or if teacher will not point out the mistake, it will remain persistent. Hmm. I will speak in Hindi also. Yes. Uh, this is one of the view. Uh, kya ye society mein prevalent view hai, log aisa sochte hai. Dusra hai, yadi bacha galtiyan karta hai, to iska matlab, vah us vishya mein achha nahi hai. To kya aisa view hai logon ka, teachers ka, bachon ka khud ka. 
यदि शिक्षक गलती को इंगित नहीं करता तो वह गलती लगातार बनी रहती है गलतियां होने की वजह बच्चों की लापरवाही व ध्यान ना देना है Till now, 16 people have responded. So I would uh, urge everyone to uh, give a response on this uh, poll. I have again shared the link. If uh, it is uh, not not reached to you as yet. so we'll give one more minute to this uh, poll only 21 people have responded till now you may also write in chat if you're not comfortable with this you uh, may write a sequence uh, but yes that will be difficult even because there uh, there is no marking on the yeah. statements yeah so yeah. no uh, you there is no number given so i think um, it's better just to, take the keyword yeah. the first one is like help in better help in learning second one could be a uh, child not good uh, in particular subject third one hmm. could be you know carelessness hmm. uh, fourth and one could be uh, teachers pointing role. out ha huh, pointing yeah. out mistakes yeah yes uh, kishore initially people have responded that uh, thinking that it is a desirable one that's why it's the first hmm. response we are seeing as the biggest one but it's yeah. okay we will have a discussion on it yes the purpose of so, this poll is to you know uh, just uh, have a discussion about it so i think hmm we can do that so another 30 seconds will take uh, i would urge all the participants those who are here to uh, give with their uh, poll on this these statements because only 24 people have given out of uh, around 35 33 to yeah. our you may write yeah. on the chat if you feel you can't go there i may uh, post the link again because those who are joining late may not able to see the link so okay by the time people are just taking this poll we can uh, start discussing about it so uh, however the first uh, rank is with the statement that mistakes helps in better learning so why do you think i mean maybe this might be the desirable one uh, but if you are thinking that this is the desired thing that mistakes helps in better learning why do you think so कि गलतियां बेहतर सीखने में मदद करती हैं ये आप ऐसा क्यों सोच रहे हैं एनी वन कैन रिस्पॉन्ड ऑन दिस एनी व्यू अबाउट इट आपको कैसे लगता है कि वो बेहतर सीखने में मदद करती हैं हेलो uh, मैम Yes, yes, uh, मैं इस, इस जो आप बोल रहा है इसके बारे में मैं बोलना चाहूंगा कि हम बचपन में जो पढ़ाई किया था उसी वक्त हम लोगों का जो जितना भी मिस्टेक हुआ था उस टाइम पे टीचर हम लोगों को कभी कभी क्या गाली देते थे 
तो इस विषय में मैं ये बोलना चाहता हूँ कि फ्रीडम होना चाहिए एक गलती को मतलब रिकॉग्नाइज करने में एक फ्रीडम होना चाहिए ओके okay. तो तब भी तो स्टूडेंट सीखेगा कि ठीक है वहाँ पे मेरा मिस्टेक था और मैं ये इसको सुधारना पड़ेगा तो मेरा वही है मतलब इस विषय पर जो राय है thank you so you mean that uh, if somebody makes i mean the children if they make a mistake then teacher should not scold her though she may uh, point out the mistake like this is your mistake and you should correct it so uh, that's what i got from your um, yes, thing yes, that yes. it's important that to uh, it, it's important to be aware of the mistake but yes it should not be taken as a negative uh, thing Okay. Yes, yes. So, of course. Anybody else wants to add into this? Okay, uh, mistakes helps in better learning. So, Vijay Pal's thing. You can mute. Can you say? Yeah, please. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Ma'am, we have seen from childhood that if a child is learning something, then without mistake, no one can learn anything. From any work, we have seen that if a child is learning something, then without mistake, no one can learn anything. From any work, we have seen that if a child is यदि मिस्टेक ना होने का डर बच्चे के दिल में बैठा दिया जाएगा तो बच्चा कुछ भी नहीं सीख पाएगा आ, स्कूल से आने से पहले का भी यदि हम देखेंगे नेचुरली जो बच्चा सीखता है उसमें भी गलतियां तो होती ही हैं तो गलतियां तो सीखने का पार्ट है गलतियां तो होंगी ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच सो व्हाट विजय पाल सर जस्ट मैं दिस इज अचुरल प्रोसेस मतलब मिस्टेक्स होना बहुत ही नेचुरल है तो इट इज कंसिडर एज अ पार्ट ऑफ लर्निंग so so I think Satya, uh, Satya, yeah. difficult to pronounce yeah. Yeah. Uh, he wants to add yeah. uh, what earlier uh, some of uh, the participants said I actually agree with them that firstly I think that uh, uh, mistakes shouldn't be stigmatized that is uh, there shouldn't be any stigma attached to it they should be actually welcome because uh, somewhere earlier I had read that uh, which i agree to that mistakes are the windows to students thinking mm. so they are thinking in a specific manner mm. which doesn't uh, concur with what the way we are thinking yeah. so uh, so i think that uh, uh, instead of uh, um, saying that those are mistakes if we try to understand what is it that led them to uh write whatever we feel as mistakes then probably we may get a different insight about the child's thinking yes the way yeah. the child is thinking yeah thank you so much sir yeah. the statement yeah. you just made that these are the windows of thinking so yeah. it is a uh, their way of thinking Correct. so it's very yeah. important statement that sir has made uh, bhagishri yeah. also want to say something in that yeah uh, yes uh, uh, main ye kehna chahti hu ki uh, jab bhi bachche galti karte hain तो ज्यादातर उनको कोई कंसेप्ट समझ में नहीं आती है उस वजह से गलती होती है तो इंस्टेड ऑफ स्कोल्डिंग देम फॉर दैट अगर उनको वो गलती क्यों हुए और क्या उनका मिसकंसेप्शन जो है वो अगर समझा दिया जाए तो वो कंसेप्ट ज्यादा अच्छे से ध्यान में रहता है और फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड वी रिमेम्बर दैट कंसेप्ट मिस्टेक हेल्प फॉर लर्निंग इन दैट वे okay thank you and what uh, faruqi man uh, wants to say faruqi ma'am uh, hello ma'am okay yes yes sir uh, this is simran and everyone so just yeah. i am in parity with others what others were saying absolutely uh, mistakes are basically the first step to acceptance to accept uh, that they could be wrong to learn that's the first step i feel for the uh learning basically they teach the child how to proceed with things uh they explain them not just with the subject you want to talk about with the subject with their own behavior as well they acknowledge how the process of learning goes and uh, they they learn uh, the moral values also how to accept responsibility how to apologize these things and at, at one end also they feel that uh, how to get challenged because if they are they don't uh, you know challenging starts from mistakes when you make mistake then you acknowledge that this thing is challenging i need to be more mindful i need to practice more i need to be more focused towards the problem as being a math teacher when we teach our math classes uh, we make sure that the the question is not too easy either not too hard also 
and at the same time challenging where the child could make mistake at the same time child could revisit it and try to understand what the uh, important uh, facts are in the question so absolutely it's a first step for creativity and learning so, okay thank you, thank you so much so uh, what i can see from the uh, uh, responses that there is some consensus on uh, that yes mistakes helps in better learning if somebody agree disagree on this point they may just uh, come up uh, and say their justification for that that it's not uh, uh, it's not a matter of uh, that they are helping in learning though it should it should be avoided so if if somebody disagree with this statement they can uh, speak speak out or we will take this as consent that yes it is important for better learning then we'll move forward so i hope everybody now in this group at least agree with this statement so uh, if i share my experience as a teacher that uh, even i has always been fascinated with students thinking so mistakes were very important part for are very important part so i have always uh, i i used to also think that uh, yes it uh, that mistakes actually helps in better learning but it is more than that that i got to know only after when i read uh, the work of carl deck jason and joe waller so i'll just uh, uh, show you a video it is not a uh, long video two and a half minutes video we'll see that video and then we'll again discuss that what else that mistakes do with us uh, i think i i have not shared the sound give me a minute i'll just share it One of the most exciting things I've learned in recent years that shocks most people I meet is this. When you make a mistake in math, your brain grows. Synapses fire in your brain. In fact, your brain grows when you make a mistake, but when you get work right, no brain growth happens. When you make a mistake, you don't need to get the right answer. You just need to struggle and think about the mistake for synapses to fire. That is because struggle and hard thinking are times when your brain grows the most. This is why it's important in math class to work on hard problems that encourage you to struggle and even make mistakes, as these are the most important times for your brain. Thomas Edison is a famous inventor. Over a hundred years ago, he invented the light bulb, as well as many other important things. He allowed people to have light when it was dark, when previously they only had been able to use candles. You may think he was just smart and probably didn't have to work hard, but that isn't true. In school, his teachers told him that he was too stupid to learn anything. Maybe that's the story anymore. But it wasn't easy inventing a light bulb. He made a thousand mistakes, but he didn't give up. He kept trying. When a reporter asked him how it felt to fail a thousand times. He said he wasn't failing. He was taking steps. And he created something amazing. He is well known for saying this. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. There's a lot of evidence of the importance of mistakes in life too. It turns out that what separates the more successful business people from the less successful business people is that the more successful people have made more mistakes. It is really important to take risks and take on hard challenges. Michael Jordan is a really famous basketball player. He was a six-time NBA champion the NBA scoring champion 10 times, and all-time leading scorer for the Chicago Bulls, the NBA's most valuable player five times, and he won two gold medals in the Olympics. Pretty amazing. This is what he said about his playing. I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. When experts have studied the difference between successful and unsuccessful business people, they have found that successful people do more of these important things. Try seemingly wild ideas. Feel comfortable being wrong. Are open to different experiences. Play with ideas without judging them. Keep going through difficulties. Are willing to go against traditional ideas.
so uh, what did you get i mean i know that was an american slang but what did you get from the main idea from this uh, video anyone if you want to share yeah. anyone who wants to share the main idea from this so video there is someone yeah. on chat kunjal saying no uh, success without mistakes mistakes are the key to success monisha sarkar okay anything else the main idea that uh, bowler was pointing out mistakes can lead to creativity ankish terbode okay what else people can unmute and speak yeah please hello yeah yes sir yeah okay uh, what she uh, points out is that uh, when we are doing things correctly it, at that time there is no brain growth as such happening hmm but when we are trying out new things which we are not not accustomed to or we are uh, not perfect at it is at that time that we make mistakes and rather uh, it is in that uh, instance that uh, the real brain growth and real learning ha happens yes yes very mm -hmm. important point that you have made yeah. and there is there uh, is one response in the chat i have got that uh, mistakes are an important factor to improve brain connections and promote learning yes uh, one thing we were actually focusing uh, while the poll that these are the windows of thinking but uh, in addition to that uh, through this video uh, and this research work which was mainly done by call deck uh, and jason they Uh, somewhere uh, shows the significance of these mistakes in the brain growth i mean they say that uh, there is a uh, synopsis firing there uh, when a person or anyone makes a mistake whether he or she is aware of it or not so when when jason did it uh, did the experiment he said there are two types of synopsis one when no one uh, i mean the person who is making the mistake is not aware of that he has made the mistake and the second kind of uh, uh, that firing is uh, ha firing happens when they are aware of mistakes so in both ways uh, mistakes are adding to the brain growth so this point actually uh, uh, gave me a i mean surprising thing and which even i thought that it is a very important message that uh, everyone should know so uh, now my next question from you is uh, is it enough to know about brain growth for a teacher or student should also know about it like mistakes are adding to uh, it is actually helping in the brain growth is it enough if a teacher knows about it or students should also know about it am i uh, audible to everyone yes 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 you are audible perfect so in the chat yeah, you can put yeah this is my question is it enough to know about the brain growth like just just now uh, when i saw when i read about it even i can share that uh, reading with you but this was a uh, just a two and a half minute videos giving the uh, summary or highlights of that so do you think it is enough if i know that if mistakes are then then brain grows uh, uh, as a teacher if i know then it's enough or you think that students should also know about it that when they are making a mistake then brain uh, is growing their brain is growing may i go ahead now yeah yeah please thank you so much uh, i think awareness needs to be on the both side both side of the spectrum not just the teacher knowing it but at the same time student also acknowledging it and knowing it but yes uh, at the same time uh, we need not just to know but we need to understand also mistakes do uh, help us grow at the same time uh, when we need to eradicate that mistake we need to recover from that and move ahead because we are looking at simultaneous growth not just a stagnant uh, stagnant process or something 
So for both of us, both part of the spectrum, children at the same time, kids need to understand uh, they, it's essential part of the growth, but we need to go ahead with also, we need to move to the next part of the bit as well. So, yeah. So you, uh, I mean, maybe many person in the group, they may also feel that it is also important that students should also know about the uh, brain growth. So what could be the ways to actually change the views of students about the mistakes? Uh, because uh, normally if we see that students uh, get frustrated when they make, make, make mistake, they feel uh, that they're not good at maths when they're making mistakes or they just try to avoid the mistakes because these kind of messages they get from the society, be it it's a teacher or uh, it's their parents or maybe their friends. Uh, so how can we change the views of students or how can we actually help students to give this kind of messages uh, to about the brain growth to the students? Can yes, you there are a ways? few uh, yeah. good uh, messages on the chat. Yeah, uh, so people are saying that, you know, mistakes are important so that the students will not fear to do mistakes. And when is learning better? Uh, Aruna Prabhu says, when we are make aware of making mistakes or when we are not. Intuitively, I feel being aware may lead to better learning. And uh, Kunjal uh, says, depends on the age of the learner. Small kids do not need to be informed. Elder learners need to be informed. And uh, Aruna again says that if students are aware of their mistakes, they may be able to course correct. Yeah, okay, fine. So these are really good messages. So uh, now I was asking, what could be the ways to uh, actually change the views of students to hold them, uh, hold that they hold about the mistakes? Kaise kar sakte hai? Kuch aise tarike, can you suggest? So may I speak? Yeah, please. Okay. So uh, if we are able to firstly uh, convey, communicate with the students uh, or rather create an atmosphere where uh, children are, uh, even if they make mistakes, uh, they recognize that those mistakes are not stigmatized or rather they are welcomed. That is the atmosphere if we are able to create in our classroom. So that will be probably the first important step. Secondly, uh, so how will you are... do that? How will you do that? I mean, how would you say uh, that your mistakes are welcome or something? I mean, uh, can you suggest some concrete ways, one way at least? Uh, yeah. So whatever the child has uh, uh, responded to. So uh, uh, what I would rather say is that I would like to understand why is it that you have, for example, if he has uh, written something and I feel that it is not correct, hmm. then I would like to find from his point of view. So I would like him or her to explain why uh, that sort of answer has been written by the child. So, so then I will be able to get uh, his or her viewpoint about it. So and would you do it with the uh, that child or would you like to share it with the whole class? How uh, would you go about it? Generally, I mean, you may think it afterward, but uh, I'm just giving you some prompt. Like we also yeah. need to think that uh, should we just uh, think only about that child or should we think about uh, class as a whole and about the mistakes because that mistake can be a part of, uh, I mean, other may do the same kind of mistake. So will you talk to each child again and again no. if the same mistake has no. been done? So no. how would you so go about that? So if the mistake uh, or my, instead of mistake, I don't know which will be a better word, but uh, for a lack of a better word, I will continue with uh, calling yeah. it a mistake. Yeah. So uh, if that is a general uh, type of mistake that has been committed in the classroom by many of the students, then oh. that can be uh, brought out in the classroom itself, oh. where it can be discussed. Uh, so uh, what is it that made them uh, uh, do this sort of a mistake? Okay, huh. fine. So this is one way. Uh, I think there might be some messages, uh, but I can't see those messages. Ruchi, is there any re relevant message related yes, to the yes. case? Uh, yeah. There was uh, one, I think, which said that gamification uh, has better acceptance of mistakes and promote persistence yeah. in problem solving. And in the last uh, session, uh, so I had also discussed that. Ankish yeah. again says the teacher should say that this activity is free from assessment of marks. 
and mm -hmm. students can share whatever they have ideas and even rough work in math should be considered as a homework assignment oh thank you so much so these are some of the good ideas and we'll discuss it uh, during the presentation only uh, one uh, i'll just see uh, show you here uh, a video which i created for my students to give them a positive message on the brain growth uh, and that was a very rough video which is created on only for my students actually two three videos i created uh, grade wise uh, when i was in school and i was teaching so uh, because uh, as one of the response from the chat that uh, like uh, let, uh, younger children should not be informed about they don't need to inform about the brain mass, uh, growth messages but it depends when the perceptions about uh, negative perception about mistakes has started only i think that only uh, even before that we sh we can give them such kind of messages i'll just show you a video it's again one or one uh, minute video uh, and then we'll uh, carry on with our discussion yeah kitna mushkil sawal hai ha तुम सही कह रही हो कितना मुश्किल सवाल है ध्यान से करना नहीं तो मैडम की डांट लगाएंगी अरे 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 तुम तो बिना करे ही परेशान हो रहे हो पहले कोशिश करके तो देखो नमस्ते बच्चों नमस्ते मैम कैसे हो ठीक है अरे बच्चों तुम इतने उदास क्यों लग रहे हो आ, अरे अरे मैडम वो ये सवाल बड़ा मुश्किल है और अगर हमसे गलतियाँ हुई तो आप डांट लगाएंगी अरे नहीं नहीं बच्चों ऐसा मत कहो तुम्हारी गलतियों का हमारी कक्षा में स्वागत है खुलकर गलतियां करो और हाँ एक बात और ध्यान रखो अगर हम अपने पर पूरा विश्वास रखते हैं ना तो हम कुछ भी कर सकते हैं वी कैन डू एनी थिंग तो चटलू और छुटकी जो हमेशा एक दूसरे से सवाल करते रहते हैं और मजे से गणित करते हैं वो कोई खास थोड़ी ना है वो भी तो हमारे जैसे ही है तो आप गलतियों से तो बिल्कुल मत घबराओ और खुल के गलतियां करो मैं उससे बहुत खुश होंगी और हाँ अपने पर पूरा विश्वास रखो कि तुम कुछ भी कर सकते हो और अब लग जाओ इस सवाल को करने के लिए क्या सच में मैम आप हम, हमें गलतियों से डांटेंगी नहीं अरे नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं गलतियां करने से तो आपका ब्रेन बढ़ता है अरे चलो भाई चलो सवाल करो गलतियों से क्या डर सो दिस इज द वीडियो विच आई यूज टू शो टू दंगर आई मीन यंगर किड्स एंड आफ्टर दैट वी यूज टू हैव अ डिस्कशन एंड दिस प्रैक्टिस हैव टू मेड इट परसिस्टेंट फॉर सम टाइम बिकॉज दे वर नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट यस मिस्टेक्स कैन डू वंडर टू दर ब्रेन सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द वे दैट आई एक्चुअली ट्राई टू चेंज द व्यूज ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट द मिस्टेक्स एंड देर आर अदर वेज टू स्पेसिफिकली टू इन्फॉर्म दैम अबाउट द ब्रेन ग्रोथ like students create their own they may create their own messages on brain growth and one radical message that carol gives uh, which though i have not tried it but this is the message i should i should also inform to you that she says if a ch uh, children come home uh, saying that they got all the questions right in the class or on a test parents should say oh i am sorry that means you were not given opportunities to learn anything so these kinds of messages if uh, parents should be aware of too and this is uh, and another way is which is which i feel very important is analyzing mistakes together so if uh, as a class we are analyzing mistakes then we feel positive about uh, mistakes and uh, uh, we can go into the depth of the mistakes what 
sir was saying that it is actually uh, the way children are thinking. It's we call it a mistake, but this is the way students think. So uh, we will dig deep into it, but uh, I'll just first of all let us try to uh, notice some of the mistakes and see whether uh, how do we perceive these mistakes and uh, the kind of uh, uh, I would say what do you notice in the mistake and is there anything to wonder about? There are two uh, anecdotes which I have pasted here. I hope I mean it might not be clear very much, but. Just it's like not it. that clear uh, can you just read it out a bit or zoom in in your on your screen itself yeah now it's better now we can uh, at least the first one yeah i'll just show the first one first and then the second one then so just observe the first one first and see, is there anything that makes you wonder or whatever you are noticing? Just see. Would anyone like Any. to speak? Have you noticed anything here? Yeah. The first one. What do you notice in the first page? And what kind of mistakes are there? Uh, Jasneet, if you're speaking, we can't hear yeah. you. No, no, I'm not speaking. I'm just, I was just reading the chat. There is some message. Okay, there is a black square which has appeared in your screen where the chat is. is we so? can't oh, see the, okay. sorry, we sorry. can't see the. So somebody I has uh, 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 written a uh, nice chat that, you know, on some uh, construction pr uh, process uh, site, uh, she had read this message. Sathya, oh, Satyashraya. That uh, don't peep in, we are changing. Just like a construction site is strewn with rubble uh, and waste, the process of learning is also a process of constructing knowledge individually by a learner. Hence, naturally, there are going to be a lot of debris or mistakes. As an educator, I feel that this needs to be kept in mind. Okay, one thing. What else? If you, just, you need to dig a deep. Uh, a little more so Zenith is saying that. that there is a spelling mistake for three uh, three key spelling. Uh, there is a spelling mistake of three uh, written as T. Oh. And then there is a spelling mistake, I think, on eight. Oh. Then in terms of 16, ET, oh. there is only 18 written, I think. It is written 11 6. Oh, 11 6. One can't read properly. That's right. okay. And I think that is the spark of this uh, whole uh, anecdote. Yeah, 11 6. So instead of 16, uh, the child has written 11 6. That is an interesting, uh, you know, mistake. Why would a child write 16 as 11 6? Yeah. Can anyone? Uh, uh you know think about it and say why would a child write 16 as 11 6 in words and i request the ones who have not spoken till now to uh, yeah. get a chance to speak please 
anyone you can write it on the chat as well yeah and uh, believe me when uh, we analyze mistakes together i mean with the students uh, as a teacher i might not be able to uh, get why the child has written that but students will tell uh, immediately that this is the reason that why the child has written this such kind of response so i mean we uh, they know each other thinking better than a teacher knows the uh, thinking of students but here yeah, as a teacher i think we should also uh, be aware of the kind of uh, Uh, ways of thinking of students so one thing i can tell that yeah. um, the others the, the, the bigger one is written first and the smaller one is written in the second it means the 10th place was written first and the uh, one place is written in the second position so here in 16 also the student tried to write the 10th position in the first then 6 in the second so i don't know why the 10 is 10 is not written and 11 is written yeah. that is that i will, i'm not sure but the writing the 10th place first is what student was trying to do hmm. so this is yeah one reason is that uh, he is somewhere making the natural extension of what he has done uh, uh, with the counting of number names of after 20 like 21 so one is written Uh, afterwards when we write 21 31 32 33 but in 16 uh, we have to write 6 first and then 10 but because uh, he, uh, he has got the pattern of writing the uh, uh, that number which is in the one place afterwards so that natural extension he has used to even write 16 uh, he's nothing but my son he did it day before yesterday and then i tried to actually find out what does he do if i uh, if he uh, i gave him 18 also to write he write the same 11 8 so though it is very difficult to know what they are thinking so we have to uh, actually make guesses and uh, yes. strong sense yeah how why they have written so this is one of the appropriate reason which sir uh, has already pointed out can anybody just uh, Yeah, the same, there is a very the interesting yeah. uh, comment by Asan Faruqi. Says that for sixteen, I think the child might have seen through the landmark number and its number combination. So I think he means ten and six. But I think what is happening here uh, is, uh, you know, perhaps the child uh, recognizing recognize ten as a number. So one and zero together is ten is a number, but beyond ten, uh, the child is constructing uh, his or her understanding. Mm -hmm. And uh, somewhere, maybe the child remembered that after ten, eleven comes, and eleven has a one there, mm -hmm. and then the num some uh, there on the tens place there is a one there. So maybe instead That of ten right. and six, the child is saying eleven and six. Yeah. Because this is a common way that uh, children uh, make uh, sense of uh, numbers beyond ten. that they think about uh, these uh, numbers as 10 and some more yeah but here the child really, instead of thinking 10 may be thinking of it as 11 really striking no so this actually fascinated me that it's i mean they are thinking such out of the box thinking they are applying so uh, really nice to see this uh, mistake but yes how to deal such mistake before that we should know that why that uh, thinking is coming into the picture only then we can uh, uh, get into some strategies uh, so yeah. this is uh, the one uh, I can I comment a, a one more? Uh, yeah, yeah, I needed to make one more point here, yeah, uh, Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. So I think you know there are uh, two kinds of uh, mistake here in this page itself. One mm -hmm. is just a spelling mistake of writing uh, three as three, T H E E. So missing yeah. out uh, one uh, letter there, yes. and uh, perhaps this is by some sort of uh, either a carelessness or not under uh, not knowing the spelling. Hmm. not recognizing all the words but maybe the kind of teacher speaks he she speaks yeah. speaks like three so he might lost not listening to that sound of r yeah r so yeah. yeah and uh, the this kind of mistake of 11 and 6 i mean um, uh, if the child would have written it as 10 and 6 hmm. i just want to ask everyone here would you still consider that as a mistake yeah or would you be okay with that i just want to hear from him instead of 11 and 6 if the child would have written 16 as 10 and 
would you consider that as a mistake or not? Can I please get answers from everyone? You can write on chat. Yeah. So yes means, uh, would you consider that as a mistake? Uh, actually, uh... That depends hmm. on what we have uh, made the question. Hmm. So uh, it can be a, uh, like for example, we have uh, given them question like they have to write like uh, 16 or 11, 6 or 10, 6. Based on the question, they will, they may answer. No, if mm -hmm. the child has taken, uh, given 16 as a number name 10, 6, would that be a problem, problematic thing or would you accept it? Uh, like no, that that's is what I'm saying. Correct. When we give the question based on the question, they may you know uh, divide the write yeah, the divide number the, name. Write the number name is the question. Write the number name. Yeah, that's hmm. all. Uh, that based on that question, that will be depends. So, what do you think? Uh, is that fine or not for you as a teacher? Uh, if this is the question only. No, writer, no, no, writer uh, it, it is it is wrong because uh, they have to write 16 only okay there are uh, several people who are saying that it is a mistake except uh, mm -hmm. bhagishri bhagishri mm -hmm. is saying that concept wise we cannot say it is wrong but the number mm -hmm. name is wrong mm -hmm. just so, how would you huh. respond to this I think concept because conceptually it is right and uh, this is a new creation. This might be a new creation of a child and as a class community, they may create a uh, new numbers name from 11 to 20 uh, because uh, you know, 11 to 19 because it doesn't have actually any, uh, I would say, connection with the kind of the written symbols these are. So it's perfectly fine if uh, they are giving a new number name to that. But yes, of course, there is a conventional thing that we, we can also add to. So uh, 16 may have two number names, but uh, one which the students have created and the other one which the mathematicians has created. I mean, what, how, however they have been created. Yeah. Hello? By, yeah, or by the society. Yes. Uh, may I add? So this is my thing? response to yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Please yeah. go ahead. Yeah, I feel that uh, we need to differentiate uh, between uh, number name and number value. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we say, uh, I think uh, whatever we are discussing, so number names can differ from probably, we, are, we have standardized them and whatever is standardized, we accept it as correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, that, that, that need not be the case. As you said, yes. that uh, a group of people can decide that, okay, we will call this number as in this fashion. So yeah. that number name doesn't change the number value. Hmm. Yes. So yes. if we make the distinction between number name and number value, hmm. then I think that this is not a mistake. If the uh, question is uh, write the number name, hmm. yeah. So this probably is a, an acceptable way of uh, writing the number name. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So Vishal uh, Datta also says that it is mathematically correct. That is the understand is very much uh, understanding is very much correct, but it may be difficult for the student to communicate in his real life because mm -hmm. uh, in real life you do not call it as ten and six, you call it sixteen. So it will not be considered to be correct. I will disagree <laughs> to a certain extent. <laughs> for example, when we uh, give a telephone number, yeah, uh, ten digit telephone number, we generally either club two or three digits together. Yeah, and at that time we are uh, no, we are telling the number name in a different way. Yeah, actually there can yes. be so many different ways for telling a uh, ten digit uh, phone number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is a uh, and, justification. Uh, yeah, uh, is good. Yeah, madam, uh, one more thing is uh, actually one and uh, six you have written separate. Uh, is it separate or it is both? Uh, oh no. 16 we, we should call or one six we should call. actually it is 16 there is a space you no know, for tens and one's place so it's 16 basically yeah, there is a line yeah. in between so that's what I yeah. Want to yeah, yeah. that is how the young children learn to yeah. write they yeah. learn to write in these boxes and uh, it is uh, they are supposed to write just one letter in one box yeah 
just to give them an idea of a place that's why yeah. this kind of yeah though they may not get out of it okay. but thank you ruchi for uh, yeah. uh, adding uh, into I it i think i just want to one, make one yeah. last uh, point uh, just need if you allow yeah, please, me please 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so that's what we want yeah you know in fact even in uh, uh, research uh, uh, it has been found that uh, most of the students who are learning this english number names they face a lot of difficulty learning number names from 11, 11 to 19 yeah and it is because uh, the na- the the way we pre- uh, we give the name and the way the number is represented it yeah. is reversed in the case yeah. from 11 to 19 and from 20 uh, 21 and above so mm-hmm. if you notice um, in 23 you know the tens place is being said first 20 mm-hmm. And then hmm. three comes, so it's hmm. easier for students to write two first and then um, three. But hmm. uh, when you are considering uh, sixteen, so here the number on the ones place is being said first, and teen, which represents hmm. the ten, is being said at, uh, last. So hmm. this uh, sort of creates a bit of a confusion for the child as to which one is supposed to come first and which one later, and they find it very difficult. And in hmm. fact. Uh, Chinese students have been found to uh, learn these number names very quickly because their uh, the their number name in Chinese and the written form is consistent with each other. Yeah. So the way it is said in Chinese is uh, indicates ten and six, and hmm. what they have to write is also uh, consistent with that. So therefore, yeah. uh, they find it easier to learn. So maybe we should allow st- students to um, you know provisionally adopt this uh, way of saying 10 and 6 and later yeah. on it will uh, it, i mean when they start going out in the world and uh, saying 10 and 6 i'm sure they will uh, start getting an understanding of 16 also that it is yes. called as 16 and will learn that it can be said as 16 that's yes. all sorry uh, uh, no no i mean it's me. very important thing to be highlighted and i think some of the teachers and uh, participants actually uh, made this distinction uh, distinction why the child has written 6 after uh, the 11 uh, just to get the uh, natural extension of what they were writing for 33, 43, and 38. So that's a uh, really uh, nice thing that everybody has uh, caught that uh, point. And research also uh, has evidence for that. Uh, shall we go to the next, or we should send them to the breakout rooms for the further task? We can see this uh, this one also, no? And then I we think can, we can yeah. see that. Uh, yeah. So what do you, uh, can you just zoom in a bit, uh, just, just me? So yeah. what do you notice in the second one? Uh, Which one do you want five, us to focus? There are five uh, division problems hmm. and uh, you have to observe all five. Right now we can focus on the first two. Uh, have you seen that? Then I'll just uh, move the cursor. Okay, please move the cursor now. I think I have seen. Uh, what about others? I hope they are also okay. Yeah, I think you can just leave this here. Even if they see these three problems, they will get a sense, I think. Mm. Just leave it like. So whoever has noticed something here, please uh, raise your hand and you can speak. Mm. Shelly, she wants to say something. Yeah, please go ahead. Disha is saying zero is not is good. Shelly, please go ahead and unmute. Unable. 
but I have try now. She is unable to unmute somehow. Uh, why don't you write on the chat, Shelly? Yeah, please do that. Huh. So can you read some uh, responses on the chat? Uh, yeah, Ruchi, if the, yeah. yeah. So the responses say that uh, child has not put zero. The child has been made to follow algorithmic long division method without first developing a concrete understanding of the logic behind the steps involved. Because usually we take a digit down for division. These are the responses that we have got. Okay, so you are saying that a, a long division uh, method is not learned properly, but what is in that? I mean, can we just and think I a think little more? Child debate, yeah. has uh, a fixed strategy to stall, so also struggling to recall table. Okay, what else? The major reason is the way of using tables. Way, way of using tables, how uh, can you just uh, add to it? I mean, how it, uh, how uh, it, the only reason is the tables. Arvinda Kaur, if you want to unmute, please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say, like, look at this question, 316 divided by 2. Now, mm -hmm. what I feel the child, when he's, uh, like, carrying down the 1 down, which is in the tens place, he's not taking into consideration the number which is in the tens place. He's just concentrating the number which is on the units place. So, I feel that concept of, uh, like, the number becomes 16, right? Or 11, 1, 1, 11. The number is 11, now. Am I clear? <laughs> Hello. It's, uh, yeah, suppose I mean, is, he has also crossed out one from there. Yeah. Huh. So, see, it is three minus two is one. Hmm. I think when he has made it, he wrote something two or zero, and then he made it one, right? Hmm. And then he got that one down from the uh, three hundred and sixteen, which is in the tens place. So he's not combining one one together. He's not forming one digit. His um, concept, uh, like regarding the number, is not very clear. I feel. Okay. The division method is not clear. That is sure, but but there's there is something more. Uh, one thing even I noticed that uh, when this uh, the uh, digit from the tens place is taken down, uh, and uh, whenever uh, the uh, that child sees that it is uh, not, uh, it doesn't come into the table of uh, the divisor. She will not do anything with that. Like, yes. for example, uh, here is 11, and uh, she could say that uh, in four tables, 11 doesn't come, so she will not touch that. And even here in two, also. But when it comes to the last one, he did something to it. Like, he has, though he has not, left. no, but he has written 11 here. So it mm. means he did something with that five. Right. So in the very first question. So what she, what else? She, in the very first question, three doesn't come in two stable or four stable, but still four into four, four into one equal to four is written here. Yeah, so that shows another kind of uh, yeah, okay. That that is I another for, type uh, of mistake uh, uh, Yeah. That is not for the tense place, which uh, he or she is taking it down. Because he might not have thought that four zeros are zero, he should put. I think people are also suggesting the way to address a mistake is to make the concept clear of, hmm. of the division. Hmm. But how do so, you make the concept clear? Yeah. Uh, may I? Your, yeah, please. Ready? Yeah, please, please. Uh, first of all, we uh, must uh, note that the conceptual errors uh, are focusing here uh, over here. Because uh, the concept of division is just distribution of things. So first of all, uh, if concept of division is clear to student, 
then he can uh, we can go for procedural uh, procedure this is the procedure so that's why uh, procedural errors are secondary and uh, conceptual error must be addressed first thank you but uh, my question is then how should the uh, this procedural error can be avoided uh, i mean what kind of concept or what kind of trajectory we should form that this long uh, specifically in this long division method i mean i face the problem with even ninth grade students and i just tell you this is a ninth grader only who has done this and there are many not this one so uh, can we think of some uh, trajectory or maybe this some kind of uh, task which actually helps uh, the child to understand this long division algorithm uh, in a better way so i mean we can think over it it's not a single minute answer and we can discuss it even uh, on our uh, this synergy group and one thing which i would urge you that whenever you see the mistake just click a photo and share it in the synergy group so that we can discuss deeply on it because we should make it a habit to actually yes. dig deep into the uh, mistakes of uh, children because somebody it uh, sometimes uh, for a single person it doesn't uh, it doesn't make sense that why the error has been occurred so maybe together uh, we get more insights into that uh, so we can think of i mean as you said this conceptually we can do many things to avoid such kind of error so maybe we we can discuss that over a group uh, ruchi do you want to add something because uh, lack of time i would move yeah. to the next i think we can it. discuss this very well in the group itself and there are yeah. many people who are saying uh, you need to teach the concept of subtraction division as repeated subtraction that may be one part of it but there is many other layers to it yeah. itself yeah. that we need to discuss and so, uh, i suggest uh, 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 we go for the breakout room if you plan yeah. to have yeah, a breakout room because already yeah. we are uh, yeah, quite out yeah. of time yeah so uh, i i'll just share you the link of a google doc and uh, this you just copy it here only just a moment sorry give me a minute only uh i'm sharing it on the chat before actually uh, you to go to the uh, breakout rooms because there you will not find it so and there are four scenarios how many breakout rooms you are creating uh, ruchi there are 31 people so i'll create three three groups so yeah. maybe uh, i mean there are four or five or i can just create two so that we both i mean uh, can be there for two different groups yeah i'll just uh, create two then is that there okay are, uh, i think there are five tasks so i wanted to spread those but yes okay then we can work on five okay i'll create five uh, five okay. i'm creating five breakout rooms and so what do you have to do basically uh, according to your group number you can uh, just see the task that is assigned to you go through it uh, in 5 to 10 minutes and then get back to uh, us and then we will discuss about that so please remember you have only 10 minutes to discuss yeah. the mistake uh, or discuss the task that is there on the google doc the link has been shared please click on the link of the google doc first and then on your group so only leave the meeting room once you come don't leave the main room so that you can come back Jasreet, are you able to join yeah. any group? Are you trying? Uh, yeah, I'm. I just try. This is there is Shelly Chaudhary who has not joined. Should should I assign her a room? Yeah. I'm going into a room. Okay. 
Ah, yeah, I'm also going. Number one. I'm going to number number one. I think I am going there. Are you going in number one? Yeah, I join. Okay, there. then I'll go to number three. Okay. So, have you uh, got the link? Uh, Ajit sir, the people who are there, have you uh, got the link of the Google Doc? This is uh, room number one, Bharti Kishore. Are you able to uh, hear my voice? I can share the Google Doc here again if you are not able to uh, see that. So, um, Bharti, ma'am, are you able to uh, hear my voice? Kishore, sir, uh, Anjanaya, Kaushal. Oh, Kaushal is. Uh... Would you like to say something on, uh, or are you reading the doc or not? So are we into the main room, uh, Ruchi? Yeah, yeah. Up main room. Mein ho. Hmm. Main room five. Mein join kar rahi uh, room five for room one ka task same hai because it's very important thing. Wo scene Haan. numbers pe tha. Haan. There are so, very few people. Room one mein bhi kami log hain. Room... They're not even speaking out. Room three. Room three to rehne do. Room three to khatam ho gaya hai. Room okay. four hai. People okay. are speaking. Hmm. And uh, these are into the main room. I'll join room uh, four. Okay. okay, okay. So any one of you, are you able to uh, read the doc? You can read the task one if you are uh, even into the main room. So does, uh, do anybody like to unmute and say something? Are you reading or not?
Dr. B. S. Sudindra, uh, have you just left any room or uh, you just joined? uh yeah there is activity in only one of the rooms room four should we close the room yes yes please please we can then uh, just discuss on it and then maybe So has other people joined? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should go ahead. So 10 minutes left for the session to get over. So I think we can discuss about C numbers and may close the session then. Yes, Jasneet, I think you should start. Yeah. People have come back from the room. Yeah. So has anybody uh, read, uh, read about that uh, C numbers? And what are your views about such kind of scenario? or how the mistakes has been uh, mistake has been dealt in uh, this case has anybody read okay if uh, nobody has done it uh, we can read it in a minute uh, i'll just explain you the main crux of it so there's a class going on where the teacher has done even and odd numbers uh, and uh, in the new class, she uh, there is a uh, student called Seen who uh, says that six is an even and odd number both. So this is his, uh, uh, you may, the teacher may call it a mistake, but this is the way he's, he's thinking, he's uh, conjecturing on that. Uh, he thinks that six is both odd and even number. So uh, if you can uh, just read this, uh, in a moment. Uh, he says, why uh, you are saying this, that uh, he says it was, I'm thinking that it is an odd, it can be an odd number two, because there could be two, four, six, two, threes, uh, uh, threes, two, three twos. Matlab, he says that uh, there are three twos. So six is made up of three twos. That's why he call it uh, even and an odd number. So this is his uh, justification for that, why he called it a even and odd numbers uh, and in that case uh, lots of uh, i mean many students give the counter examples and they say no it, uh, i mean they have their own working definition of even numbers and uh, they give them some examples if you just see the transcript and uh, read it it's very interesting uh, but even in that case he it doesn't agree with the the uh, kind of conjecture he has made. Then there is one person who called, uh, there is one uh, student, me, uh, she has given a uh, counter example expressing that if you say that six is even and odd, then you can take many other numbers who are even and odd, like 10. She gives an example of 10 because it has five sets of two. Then she said that you would say that 10 is also an even and odd number. So you will get land into infinitely many even and odd numbers so it will not make sense of uh, talking about even and odd number then but when they were talking uh, on these conjectures then the teacher was also noticing that uh, 
such kind of uh, um, property which seen has observed which other teachers may say that it's a mistake that six can't be even and or both but he has a good justification that why uh, six uh, he was saying six as an odd because it has uh, odd numbers of uh, pairs so that's why he was saying it is an odd and even um, but now because that is an important property that he observed and that kind of numbers have no special name given in mathematics. So in that case, the teacher and even the other students, they find, uh, finalize that we will take uh, such kind of number and we'll give this name as a scene number. So they called that scene conjecture as an scene number. So this was the way of dealing uh, a such kind of mistake which has created new mathematics so what are your views about that do you think uh, i mean it can it happen in our class or uh, was this the right way to go ahead or it should be shunt up uh, just by saying that uh, it can't be done i mean one number cannot be even and odd both so any views on that yeah you can unmute and speak. If you want. Anyone? Uh, hello. Yes. 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 So I think that uh, the scene has uh, pointed out very correctly. And it also gives an idea that he knows the definition of odd and even number because he is trying to define what is odd and odd, what is even. Mm -hmm. So this, this kind of, of uh, action can happen into the classroom, not only for maths, but also for the other subjects where we have a very basic definition and the students come up with new ideas. So mm -hmm. I think this type of conversation is important to the classroom. Okay. Thank you. So, I mean, this is one way that we can handle the mistakes. And this was not a written mistake. That was a verbal uh, communication that was going on. So, I mean, that can be dis uh, taken up through a discussion part. So, anybody uh, has seen uh, the task two or task three? Any um, observations on that? These are also the different kind of strategies that has been uh, used to handle the mistakes. Also, uh, one last thing, sorry. Yeah, yeah, please. So also uh, this type of discussion gives rise to inquiry-based learning, what I really think that mm -hmm. you give an idea and then you counter question that the same thing. So I think this is also a good way of knowing things. Even the mathematical processes has been encouraged. If you see that yes. students are making conjectures, there is a mathematical communication, They're using counter examples. So uh, many mathematical and, processes has been. And now I, I really think that is there a number which is even and odd both. So <laughs> this is the. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So any observations on uh, uh, task two and task three? Or maybe then we can discuss in our group. If you have any observations, you can write it on chat or. Uh... For task two, I just saw the video. I actually it's a technique that we also follow whatever we have taught in the previous uh, like uh, period or the class that we have the next day but it is a different way you give card to all the children and make them solve it and before we go like move ahead we know where the children are lagging behind and we can work on that and then we can proceed so it's a nice technique that they have mentioned in video to the two videos that were there so in two and three, both they have handled the written mistakes basically and students are given opportunity to analyze the mistakes together. In one, in first one, as ma'am said, uh, uh, that teacher has given a warm-up activity and she has collected yes and uh, I mean, the all the cards where the students have responded and she find out her favorite no, that is the, mis uh, the favorite mistake she has tried to find out and why there is a mistake, what happens well in the uh, problem in the solution that all has been discussed with the students and even the in the next one the students are graded uh, not graded in the their test though they have uh, there is there are highlighters have been used on the mistakes and then uh, they have uh, discussed in the class so these are some ways where uh, to handle the mistakes and uh, there they are a lot more uh, but yes we can discuss it in some day other or maybe in the group so I think this is uh, enough for the day and uh, 
uh, we can try at least one idea to use uh, to handle the mistakes or maybe changing the views about mistakes. So that is uh, what from my side, Ruchi. Uh, I hope it has added to something to the participants as well. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Jasneet, for sharing uh, the, uh, you know, the, this videos about uh, mistakes, how mistakes are important and uh, sharing the examples of mistakes and also uh, helping us through the discussion about, you know, how mistakes can be addressed for the students. I'm sure you had a lot more, but I suggest that you, if, you, if it is possible for you to post this, uh, you know, Google Doc on the Telegram group so that we can continue the discussion there. I, I think sure. it would be nice because uh, I know there is so much more to uh, people want to say about, uh, you know, the mistakes that we were discussing, not only in mathematics, but beyond mathematics also people want to talk about it. And uh, we consider that it is a very important uh, idea that mistakes become a stepping stone for learning for students, not only for students, but also for teachers. Yeah. And uh, they can be students' mistakes. They, and even as teachers, we make mistakes sometimes. Yeah. And I think it can be a learning opportunity for all of us. And I, yes, even the mistakes can be shared in the group. I mean, yes, the common yes. mistakes. I mean, and that I be really our like your idea. If people will start putting up, you know, mistakes and discussing why, what would have led to that mistake? What is it that the student uh, knows? And what is it that is the conceptual gap? Uh, that we need to address. I think it will improve a lot uh, about, uh, you know, our own understanding about students thinking. So I urge all of you to share students mistakes wherever you find on the group and let us discuss that to enrich our understanding of, you know, uh, uh, understanding why that mistake occurred and how it can be addressed. I have shared the Google, uh, feedback form on the chat. I request everyone to please fill the feedback form. It is important for us. And uh, th I thank you all for being here. And uh, most of all, I really thank Jasmeet for taking time out for this, uh, taking this session for all of us. Thank you so much. Even it was enriching for me too. Yeah, we will meet again next yeah, week sure. with yet another uh, online school synergy session. So uh, looking forward to meet all of you again in the school synergy session and also on the school synergy uh, teachers forum the telegram group just in case you don't have the telegram link i am going to share that in a moment just hold on meanwhile you can fill up the feedback form we currently have uh, 800 people in the group you have remember you have to uh, download the uh, telegram, telegram first app. in your uh, telegram app first in your uh, phone and then only you will be able to join using this link Got it. Here is the link to join the Telegram group. You can click on this link and join the group. Also, please fill up the feedback form. Thanks a lot, everyone. Great to have you here. Bye-bye and Thank see you. you next week. Thanks, Thank Jesse. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. The link is there on the chat. Please click on more on your zoom uh, bar and uh, then there is a i have said link to join the group again i'll share oh 
now I, I sorry, I had shared it personally with someone. I have shared it now. 